Biofilm, the hidden barrier to healing. Some chronic wounds struggle to heal despite the best and most appropriate care, even though they show no visible signs of infection or other complications. Recent clinical research indicates that the likely cause of these stalled wounds is the presence of biofilm. In fact, biofilm may be present in at least 60% of all chronic wounds. Constant low-level inflammation, with flare-ups which are often recalcitrant to antibiotic therapy, are now viewed as a sign that biofilms are present. But what exactly is a biofilm? Biofilm formation begins when single, free-floating planktonic bacteria start to attach within wound surfaces. At this stage, planktonic bacteria are still susceptible to the host immune response or antimicrobial treatments. Moreover, their attachment is still reversible. As bacteria multiply, they become more firmly attached and are able to interact and communicate amongst each other through a mechanism known as quorum sensing. Such colonies become able to secrete a protective matrix known as extracellular polymeric substance, or EPS, composed of protein, DNA, and sugars. The transition from planktonic bacteria to a mature biofilm can occur within only 48 hours of first attachment. The EPS matrix provides a defense from host response, allowing bacteria to proliferate and can also protect them from antimicrobials which normally kill planktonic bacteria. As biofilm matures, planktonic bacteria are constantly sacrificed and released from the biofilm cluster. This initiates the host immune response. However, neutrophils and macrophages that kill planktonic bacteria are not able to break through the EPS matrix of the mature biofilm structure the result is a vicious cycle, leading to a constant inflammatory phase, a trait that's observed in virtually all chronic wounds. For antibiotics to be effective, bacteria need to be metabolically active. Bacteria deep within the biofilm colony are able to hibernate or enter a quiescent phase. While antibiotics may kill surface bacteria, the dormant bacteria remain unaffected and the biofilm continues to survive. For an antimicrobial dressing to be effective, the EPS matrix must be penetrated to allow the antimicrobial to attack the bacteria within. Traditional antimicrobial silver dressings have not proven effective against wound biofilm, as it has been shown that the concentration of silver required to eradicate bacterial biofilm needs to be 10 to 100 times higher than that required to kill planktonic bacteria. Understanding how a biofilm behaves and functions is crucial to win the battle of stalled healing and to choose the most effective dressing for chronic wounds. Iodosorb is a novel antimicrobial dressing made of Codexima smart microbeads. Spherical starch structures loaded with elemental iodine. It combines physical absorption and desloughing with a sustained, gentle release of iodine. Iodosorb effectively addresses biofilm in chronic wounds. It is suggested that the Codexima microbeads are able to dehydrate and directly destroy the biofilm structure. Once this protective matrix has been breached, the iodine can subsequently kill the exposed bacteria within the biofilm community. Iodosorb comes in three different formats. They all contain Codexima smart microbeads, delivering a non-toxic, sustained antimicrobial action. Iodosorb should be the dressing of first choice to effectively tackle biofilm in chronic infected or non-infected wounds. <laughs>